the first step for a flawless face would be to deeply cleanse the face and for that I'm going to use a face brush and uh, a foam cleanser and I'm going to clean my face deeply because uh, I don't like to have like leftovers from my other makeups and things like that so using a face brush like this would help me clean everything deeply. Now I'm gonna rinse this off. I'm gonna take two serums and uh, I have one for my under eyes which is with caffeine and I have hyaluronic acid which I will use all over my face and never use it under your eyes because I don't know I just know that it irritates or something. I will start with this one with the caffeine and I'm gonna apply it under my eyes it kind of has like um, a brownish color and it's really good for brightening up your under eyes and I also apply it all over my lid all the time now I will take this, it's a jade roller and uh, I think you can find this like everywhere if you don't already have it at home I already have mine for like a few years or so <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do with this, I will take, take this uh, smaller part and I will just massage this area Sorry for my small eyebrows, but I just wanted to make them um, straight So I just cut half of them I don't know if it's the best decision in the world, but I just did that and uh, I continue to do that, do that, I don't know why. And don't forget to put this in the freezer for um, two hours or so, because you want this to be cold when you massage your face with this. Done with that, I will take the hyaluronic acid and I will apply it all over my face. And now I have it. I forget about this one now. Now I will take the bigger part and I will do the same thing. And the thing that I love the most about this J roller is that um, my face, I don't know, it just started to look much more better and much more defined. And sometimes I just forget to use it and, uh, and it's just so relaxing to do this. So I did my eyebrows and my eye makeup. Now we're gonna do the base and uh, for that flawless base I'm gonna use a foundation with not so much coverage. I mean I will mix with the foundation that has a full coverage and uh, the full the full coverage foundation that I'm gonna use is this Maybelline Super Stay, which I totally love. It's drugstore, it's uh, cheap, and it gives you the most flawless face ever. But uh, I will mix it with this Catrice All Matte Plus because this has um, a lower coverage, and uh, I don't know, these two mixed give you the best. So I will put one drop of this on my hand, one drop of this, okay, now I'm gonna mix them together and I will apply everywhere. I love this foundation because it just gives you, I mean, this combination of uh, foundations. But uh, to be honest, my top one is the Maybelline Super Stay, and I think nobody can convince me otherwise because it's just, it's just perfect. Like I don't know, I, I just love it. Okay, so I will use this um, 
extremely strange beauty blender that I bought from Primark. So basically it's not a beauty blender but it's a sponge, okay? Um, I will take the excess that I still have in my hand and I will blend this with this sponge. And by the way, the sponges from Primark are are just the exact same, honestly, with the original one. I mean, it's so it's just perfect. It's it's not taking like too much foundation from your face, like absorbing it. It's not doing that at all. And I tried so many sponges from other brands. And uh, for the price that I paid for this, it's just amazing. I will set my face with a setting powder. For that, I'm gonna use. Yeah. This uh, disaster happened also when I was traveling because um, I couldn't imagine the fact that all my makeup will be destroyed after this uh, experience, but. Whatever, what can I say? At least I still have it, okay? So this was a, a translucent powder from Makeup Revolution. I will try to put all the links to the products or at least the products somewhere, I don't know, here or in the description. I will see. So I will set my under eyes with this. And honestly, this powder is so, so good. Every time I use it, my makeup just looks so, so good. And it also keeps it in the place, like... It's hard when you have a boyfriend and it just kisses you every time on the face when you do your makeup and you are like this. I just did the makeup, you know. And you just can't tell him that he can't kiss you because you put a lot of work into this. Because you... You just love him, okay? Yeah. So I will put this almost all over my face. And uh, if you are wondering why I'm, I'm not using a bigger brush, is uh, because I'm kind of down, okay? That might be the first reason. And the second one, I don't know the second one, okay? Just event one in this unit okay this time i'm gonna use this bronzer from makeup revolution sunkist bronze zero pen which is very very good and i cannot lie i use this uh, bronzer so much and i still have so much left and i don't know i just love drugstore products because they are so cheap and they do the job like why would I buy? Now I will come with this um, blush from Essence Adventure Awaits. This is my favorite brush. Okay, this one is metallic, and um, I love it. I just love it. Okay. Where the fuck did my brushes go? It even break more. <sighs> now back to work. I will put a little bit of this blush just on top of that bronzer. Okay, all good. But my translucent powder is not. Yeah, I'm overlining my lips like crazy. Bitch. Just because I like to pretend that I have bigger lips without getting like, uh, without getting them bigger. In reality, oh no. Oh, I forgot to mention this was also a um, contouring crayon from Essence in shade Going Steady, which I love because it's that um, plum shade. I always wear and now I'm gonna use um, a lipstick from Primark which I absolutely adore because this color is 
is a ride or die. Okay, is a ride or die. Anyways, that. Oh God, I, I just love this shade. But I can't yet tell you the shade because it says nothing here. And uh, I forgot to mention that this one was from Primark. Like, I think I bought it two years ago. And uh, I bought some new ones. Like this one. And these ones have the shade that I can remember or not. I can find the shade either. And this one is also a ride or die. I mean, look at this one. Go Primark. Go Primark makeup. I love you. It will be a flawless base and uh, it's a cute makeup. It's a cute flawless base and it's flawless. So uh, stay positive.